Make your choice. And make it well. The weak cannot stand above the strong. That will do for now.
Shotsky looking for that damage, finds him on the Diablo, Diablo forced it back out, is their health drops low, the Immortal now is out to come back down here. on the Grey Man, give me the first one, but is it ETC? No, that's Malthale up there, a triple. The Leyline Nudes in the back, catching three people on top of that, followed up by the APOC and the Lurking Hunt, catching two, but this time on, it's gonna be the first one. Wow, did you see that much fit? Four man much fit, while on a conveyor belt, that was like a regular sushi. There's the lead, catches him in the mud pit, time trap does pop, Mosh uh, pit goes out, Fugu still in trouble, pops to stay a while to listen, but it's not gonna I didn't think they had a chance. I thought it was all over. We said all or nothing, and they got absolutely everything. All right, good evening and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Nexus Gaming Series showdown this evening. We are in Division D West. West is the best, or Division D, West is the best. I'm going to be your host this evening. My name is Bonkai, and uh, we're actually taking a matchup between, let's see, Wood League Express and Team Momentum. Uh, real quickly, before these teams actually get ready to get going, uh, let's take a look at the ban bands and picks. We have got uh, Braxis Holdout, banned out. We have got Infernal Shrines, banned out. Sky Temple, banned out. Towers of Doom, banned out. Game number one, or map number one, in this best of three matchup between these two great teams is going to be on Altrak Pass. Uh, the banned out quite a few good maps, actually. Actually, two two of the best maps in NGS. Two of the, uh, Towers of Doom and Infernal Shrines. Don't really care much for Braxis. Uh, Sky Temple, eh. That doesn't bother me, but... Yeah, it's, it's a difficult map to play from, from my perspective at least uh but i'll track past that is where we are going quick standings in this current division uh we see team momentum currently in the second seed with nine points uh woodley express not too far away they're on they're in the fourth spot uh with seven points so if they win tonight, uh, Wood League Express, if they win tonight, let's say they win in domination, then they take top spot um, above Phoenix Rising Jade, or probably tying with Jade. Uh, if they win a two, uh, let's say two to one, right? Uh, then they move into the third position. So currently they tie for third, but they will solidify their place in third position. Uh, right now, it's a four-way tie between Puns, with the Express, Maximum Thrust, and Can't Counterpick Stupid. That's a pretty close division going into it. If you look at the points, uh, the points spread between the top eight seeds, uh, they're all almost just like a point away. Six, seven, nine, and ten. Wow, real close, real close. Uh, but I believe we're just waiting for one more person uh, to come in for the side of uh, Team Momentum. Uh, eight fifteen was the start time, or eight nine, ten, ten fifteen EST. Uh, we're still waiting for, for one person to get on there, and then we should be able to get this game started. Uh, but quick shout out to Haas once again. I don't know how many accounts you have, man, but thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it, Becky04. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Midnight Wolf. I know Midnight's not here, but it was yesterday. Uh, so thanks, thank you, thank you, thank you for the follow. And uh, I think we finally got the squad ready to get going so we'll jump into the drafts uh, momentarily let me just tell them that the caster is ready then they can get the game on the way so i'll track pass being one of those maps it's a bigger map in the ngs pool uh three lanes top mid bottom uh, i think this is the only map where boss does not mean much like getting boss control means nothing at all because uh, the boss does not do as much damage as possible. Of, of course, later in the game, like if you're talking about like 25, you know, between 25 and 30 minutes in, into the game, yes, then it kind of does affect it. Um, but even then, if you send five people to clear it out, it's easily taken care of. What really matters here is the middle siege camp. That is what uh, we really want to have control over. Oh my god. There we go. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, that is what we really want to control off the mid siege camp. Uh, normally, like 
if you can get the objective and then have the siege camp pushing with that objective it can do so much for you it can get so much value for you uh the constant pressure in the lane you know that's what you're basically looking for but this is a very snowbally map ironic there's a lot of snow in it but uh a very snowbally map like you can you can have all the momentum in the world to begin with and then all of a sudden bam momentum gone let me turn down the music a little bit i don't know if it's like blowing people's ears up but i apologize if it is uh, but i've turned it down now so i think we should be good i think we should be good yeah we should be we should be fine uh but yeah all right so starting off with the bands over here uh on the side of team Mo uh, momentum we have Ali ming getting banned out right off the bat let me just make sure i have all the players here hi uh, emerald ice queen sarah Leth, uh chauncey and uh a cypher a cypher we got Gloki, we got Slacks, we got Rekt, we got Echo? Where is Echo? Oh, Echo? We got Hoppy. But, where's Echo? Hope I'm pronouncing his name right. If not, I apologize to you once again. Uh, but following band coming out uh, was the Johanna and then the Dahaka. So one of the globals being removed early on. Uh, that is a good thing. We have two more globals sitting at uh sitting on the table we got bright wing and then we have got the falstad which nobody banned out which is okay hanzo is the choice that they want to ban out so that i'm assuming is a targeted ban it's my first time casting both of these teams in this division ever i know that it is uh a team a team momentum is a completely new team coming in to this season was talking to Loki he said that the last time that they participated in NGS was season six a while ago a while ago immediately we see that bright wing off the table bright wing very very strong as a healer in general but also having that ability to turn a 1v1 into a 1v2 or a 4v4 into a 5v4 uh, did I mention her healing abilities? That's, those are pretty good too. Like, he's, he's a good hero overall. So, it's a good pickup coming from there. And then we have uh, Blaze and the Chromie. Like that. Blaze coming out for a High Emerald and uh, for Ice Queen. Hey, there's an entire organization named after that Ice Queen. Uh, so Ice Crown. But you put Ice Queen because we got a Lich Queen. Haha. <laughs> Uh, but ice cream goes with Romy. Oh, I got a bit stuck. Please, Romy. All right, all right. We got a Garrosh pickup uh, to follow up along with a Vala. With Vala's changes, Vala can hit like a truck if you can complete those stacks. Uh, so we'll see how this Vala can impact the game. Well, thanks so much for that follow, uh, Shade the Winsome Wolf. Uh, it's almost a tongue twister. Damn. Love the names. Love the names. Amazing. Final band coming out from the side of uh, Wood League Express. It is going to be the Keltas. I really have a feeling like the, these are all targeted bands. Because generally you wouldn't see a Keltas getting banned out. Nor would you see a Hanzo getting banned out. So I'm assuming that, that those were target bands to Hanzo towards Slacks. And the Keltazod. Am I pronouncing him right? Yeah, Keltazod to here all guessing wrecked <laughs> just going by the name i don't know <laughs> probably wrecked uh final band coming up on the side of team momentum is going to be that tychus they do not want their front line getting blown up so it's uh it's, it's well worth it well worth it malfurion is the choice of healer coming out from the side of uh, wood league express I like Malfurion. Malfurion is crazy. He's annoying, especially that level one talent. The the root and sleep. Oh, so ooh, Phoenix. Interesting. Is he an offlane Phoenix? Uh, thanks so much for that follow, Dark Knight. Appreciate you being over here. Welcome, welcome everybody. Both these teams really taking their time and going through the, the draft very cautiously. Final two picks coming out. From the side of Team Momentum is going to be... Who's it going to be? Oh, interesting. We got a Mephisto coming out for more DPS. I'm guessing the Keltazod ban was towards Hoffy. Uh, I was wrong. I thought it would be Wreck, but it's Hoffy. And then they got the offlane of Varian. 
Nice, I like it. So we're gonna see maybe a Twin Blades variant. If not a Twin Blades variant, then a Sea Smash variant. But I have also seen an offlane Taunt variant and some higher divisional play. So we're gonna see how Team Momentum is going to turn around and play this game. Uh, Diva, it's a choice of offlaner on the side of Wood League Momentum. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the lineups of these two teams going at each other. We got Blaze, Chromie, Malfurion, Phoenix, and Diva taking on Brightwing, Garrosh, Fala, Mephisto, and Varian. Well, you guys know what time it is. It is that time where we start at the predictions. If you are here to support Wood League Express, go ahead and drop your votes for them. But if you are here to support Team Momentum, go ahead and drop your votes for them. Either way, I will see you guys in the fray. Ah oh, man, I, I thought I had my timing right, but I, <laughs> I messed it up. I apologize. Oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, hi, Emerald. Uh, but there we go. All right, jumping into the game. Starting off on the left hand side in the blue trunks, we got High Admiral on the Blaze, Ice Queen on the Chromie, Sarah on the Malfurion, Chauncey on the Diva, and a Cypher on the Phoenix. That is your squad in blue. Team Wood League Express. And on the right hand side of the red trucks, we got Gloki on the Garage, Slacks on the Vala, Rekt on the Varian, Echo on the Brightwing, and Hoffy on the Mephisto. That is your squad in red. Team Momentum. I hope they can build up a lot of momentum going into the game, starting it off. But let's see, both teams meeting up at mid. Varian taking his own sweet time, coming along in the back over there, trotting on his little toy horsey. Oh, Garrosh stepping up further. He wants to catch somebody. If Garrosh can get somebody and toss them over, uh, yo, double taunt would be crazy, though. Like, post tens? I mean, yeah, post tens, double taunt? That's that's nuts. Because if they get time it right, they get a Garrosh taunt, and then they wait for the taunt to lapse, and then get a variant taunt off, that would be real, real nice. That's certainly somebody dead. You know what I mean? Chugga chugga. Chugga chugga. Mm -hmm. Both squads kind of clearing out their mid lanes, so we see everything kind of settling down now. They are doing a 1-3-1. One, one. Mephisto taking on that D.Va, and then we got the Varian taking on Phoenix in the mid lane. Uh, sorry, bottom lane, and in the mid lane we got the three man. We got Vala, Garrosh, uh, Brightwing, who have just made their rotation to that siege camp. It's a very good rotation. If you can get this camp by a minute 30, and as soon as the objective spawns up, you can get it one more time. So we'll see who gets it first. Both of them are relatively closer at 130. Close enough. Yeah, close enough. All right, let's take a look at some of the quests, the quests that are going on. We have deep breeding for the Chromie. Eight out of 20 over there. You got to drop these these last dragon's breaths onto the, your hero, uh, enemy heroes uh, to trigger it. And then we have uh, advanced targeting. Nine out of 120 for the Phoenix here in the bot lane. And it is going to be a taunt variant as predicted. Uh, we got Warbreaker for the Garrosh. We got a Q stacking of Vala. Uh, and we have Lion's Maw. That's for the slow, to make them slow. Diva's mech gets blown up in the top lane, but I'm assuming Mephisto taking a lot of damage just to ensure that that mech goes down. Uh, it's going to back up a little bit. Now charge it up there. Trying to keep track of everything over here. It's like... Whoa. Blaze just like... Jet propulsion away was well, not in any sort of danger or anything like that, but objectives are online within the next 15 seconds. And as said, 19 seconds for this camp and 20 seconds for this camp. Uh, but here comes a rotation ball, making a rotation down to bottom. Maybe they are looking for this Phoenix. Phoenix, a little bit of a harder target to kind of gank, unless there is a certain lockdown, which they do have in that variant as the taunt there. Uh, but nope, Vala decides that she's gonna leave him and go back to the building. Who picked the map? The map was picked by 
um, Woodley Express. They picked the map. They decided that they were going to go to Altrack Pass. That was the one. Sixes are on a line. Both squads once again make their rotations towards the siege camp. It's going to seem like Woodley Express is going to get their camp out first, which is probably going to hit the wall. But then by the time Vala and Garrosh are done with this one, it'll probably be somewhere here by the time the other one's right here. So that's good. Uh, but we do have a bright wing catching Soak in the top lane. Chauncey now going to make that rotation. Let's take a look at the bottom lane. Too many off lanes. Come on, man. Uh, but see, like I said, it would end up here. Okay, maybe, maybe a little bit, <laughs> maybe a little bit too far. Uh, but Garrosh taking a lot of damage, just walking the fire. There comes the stun. He catches the Malfur, and the toss comes out as well. There comes the cleanse. A lot of fire that he's walking into. Unstoppable used by High Emerald as well. Uh, Diva the one, the next to get stunned by that Garrosh, and now they're kind of making their way towards the objective on the defensive side. That is Wood League Express. A uh, little high hellos, a little little greetings coming out in the mid lane there, and then everybody just falls back. Oh, those falling breaths onto right wing. So much damage. Uh oh, somebody less has left the game. Someone has left the game. All right, here we go. We'll wait till somebody gets back. Uh, somebody got DC. So for those of you guys joining us a little bit later, there are your map picks and bands. Uh. We have uh, Brax's Holdout banned out, Inferno Shrine's banned out, Sky Temple banned out, Tomb of the Spider Queen. Oh, no, not Tomb of the Spider Queen. Towers of Doom banned out, and map number one was picked by Wood League Express. I mean, I have a different, I have a different, um, thingy-majiggy for them. I forget their logo. That's kind of weird. NGS logos. Uh... West. Yeah, I got like a little train. But here it's completely different. Huh. Might have been updated. Do not know. He is back on voice. Nearly back. Okay, almost back. Almost back. So, so far, both these squads, like, really playing it slow. It's, it's not me this time. <laughs> both these squads playing it rather slow, you know, taking in the soak. You know, nobody's overextending. Nobody's making any mistakes right now. Uh, it's only four minutes into the game. We have uh, no kills so far. So that's that's very interesting. Uh, it gives me a sign that these teams don't like to fight. I want them to fight. I want them to keep fighting. I want them to always be fighting. But it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Both these teams very smart smart teams um so we'll see we'll see how how the game progresses furthermore i think they are ready to go game's gonna reset three two one here we go and we're back in the game Rocka, thanks so much for coming in with that rain party of 14 really do appreciate you everybody in chat here go ahead and follow Rocka. Um, on, oh, oh, as I was talking, and Bloodlust goes off in the bottom lane. As soon as Phoenix joins back, Diva, who was trying to cover that lane for them, well, not for them, but they were already in the bottom lane, gets picked up. Bloodlust, first blood going in favor of Team Momentum. Charge Taunt coming out onto that Kuromi. Uh, unfortunately, no follow-up for Wreck there, but Ice Cream taking that a little personally, firing out... What does she fire out? Like those little dragons out of her hand with her with her little shadow as well. Kermit might want to be careful. Don't want to be walking up so close to, to either the Garrosh or the Variant since they do have that lockdown potential over there. But it is a 5v5 right now. Here comes Brightwing as well. The Temporal Loop is on as Kermit uses her cheat code, catches the Variant, and disintegrates the Variant. One for one, still level nines in favor of Team Momentum. Wood League Express is going to leave Diva in that bot lane so that they can catch up in that soak game. But Diva is going to come up there too, just. Uh oh, uh oh, might want to be careful. There comes that root stun, but no follow up as Diva diving a little too deep and once again gets wrecked. Bye, Bala. It makes me feel bad, though. <laughs> Please use sound effects more often. It increases my viewing experience. <laughs> fush out. Fush out. 
there we go as i said that they didn't want to fight they want to fight even more and more now they're stuck in a choke point over there rex probably gonna lose his life there yes he does rex goes down Luki, the next one to follow up is really low walking back slowly both the front liners now gone two quick picks coming out in favor of team wood league express wait who says chugga chugga who's the chugga chugga chugga, chugga for who's that one for Tell me who that one is for. Oh, nice try, Blaze. Nice try. You tried to stun the Mephisto Shadow. But they have already started the channel. Heroics are online. Let's go over that real quickly before this next fight. We got Bunker. We got Temporal Loop. We got Tranquility. We have... Um, uh, Micro missiles. We have Perfection Salvo. Diva once again getting ca caught in there, but this time Vala the one to pay with her life. Garrus tosses back the Phoenix, and the follow-up taunt comes out as well. But it's not gonna be enough to take down the Phoenix as Phoenix gets away. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Objective number one will go in favor of Team Wood League Express. That was some great fights coming out there. Five to two in favor of Team Wood League Express. Uh, we got Taunt, we got uh, Endurance of Hate, we have Reign of Vengeance, Emerald Wind, and Shield Wall. That is what everybody is going for. Those are your heroics. Oh, the Sleep Root from Malfurion, but no follow-up there. That's unfortunate. Uh, Garrosh is looking for somebody. The sun comes out, but I'm able to catch anybody with that toss. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, Phoenix pushing in. So I like this. So they got four man defending mid. One person at bottom, top is getting free rain, free clear. So if Diva can get this well instead of that wall, that would be nice. But that's okay. Here comes a four man rotation to the top lane. Uh oh, Mephisto might be in a bit of trouble over here. If Blaze can secure a good stun, here we go. Uh oh. Durance comes out, gets blocked out. There's the root to sleep on top of that. Blink heal coming in for the bright wing. But where will you go, Mephisto? Oh! Garrosh with the friendly toss back. Emerald went to push him back to Garrosh. Big, big stuff. Unstoppable used as well to negate the temporal loop. Diva bomb used as well. Oh my god, Mephisto got out of that. Are you serious? There's a way. Well played. Well played. After that near dead miss, Mephisto wants to bash on somebody, so he opts to go to the siege camp. <laughs> uh oh! As I say that, poor Varian gets caught with his pants down in the mid lane and gets wrecked. Garrosh wanting some revenge there. The, the toss back the taunt onto the blaze. Bunker drop for good measure just to get away. And now Phoenix might be caught over there. No, he does not. It's a Phoenix. They throw oil, slick and slide. Garrosh couldn't get his hands on anybody. That was a nice try. That was a nice try. 13's online now for Wood League Express. We got siege camps uh, that they want to take, then they move right to it. Chugga Chugga used to be the uh, call for drowning a beer bong in co- Oh, I see. I thought it was just like in general, just chug stuff like chug. You know what I'm mean? gonna go chug, 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 chug. Normally for beer, like a baseball game, if you come on that big screen. Uh oh, garage? What? Free walk? You let him free walk? Like freely just walk by you guys here? Okay. Okay, garage goes in. Todd comes out onto Diva. They're taking a lot of damage. The mid fort is gonna go down. Diva gets tossed once again. Durance comes out, catches. Uh, the blaze this time the taunt comes out as well. There's so much damage coming out with the first rain Avengers did catch them But tranquility popped right in the midst of them keeping everybody alive and now the rotation to the top lane Object number two is online if they would want to go and channel that but uh, would the express kind of playing slowing it down slowing it down a little bit and you can see on the side of Team Momentum, they're trying to get back the momentum that they did have early on in the game. Uh, they start off by taking their Siege Camp, which is going to alleviate some of this pressure being built up into the mid lane. Loki going to stop the channeling. Oh, but Phoenix doesn't get phased by that Vala charging in. Here we go. The sun comes out. 
Yash looking for somebody. He's looking for somebody. Buddy, there comes the blink heel. There's a charge straight into their face by the blaze. But everybody too spread out. Too spread out. Diva bomb also thrown out. The bomb being tossed away, so no one's gonna take damage from that except for the monkeys. The charge in, the toss, the taunt comes out from the very end. The follow-up taunt from the garage. Rain of Vengeance coming out on top of that. They're hitting everybody and they're hitting nobody at the same time. And Diva just walks away. But Lion's Maw now completed on the Fulvarian. Tranquility also popped there. Oh, 4.2 seconds and they managed to stop the channel on the objective. And now Woodley Express are retreating as they have sustained quite a bit of damage on the Blaze and the Diva Mech. Blaze is going to go ahead and tap. Okay, they're going to clean up mid lane. And they're going to give a little bit of channel time. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Chromie getting caught out there. You don't want that to happen. The Polymorph comes out. Does Chromie live through this? What? Yeah, she does. No way. That's some real close calls there, man. Real close call. How do you survive with the double taunt comp and a Polymorph? That's ridiculous. Chromie doesn't even have long legs to run away. Like a, like a small little thing. Look at her, right there on the back line. Can't even tell she's playing this game. Uh, but man, oh man, does she hit like a truck, though, nonetheless. They are stopping the channel. Glokey taking a lot of damage. There comes in the blink heel from the Bright When The talk comes out to force the Diva right into everyone there. Good stun. Blaze's stun misses. Uh, but there's fire. Fire everywhere. Uh-oh, Glokey's gonna look... Good stun. Good stun. Good catch on to that Garrosh. As Garrosh tried... He was uh, looking for that Malfurion there, <laughs> but in turn got turned on to... If they can continue going over here, this is this is their objective. This is their objective. Uh, you, you have to respect them. You have to... Uh-oh. Mephisto might be in a bit of trouble over here. There comes the Salvo. Bub, 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 bub. And auto attack. Blink. Auto, auto. Dead. Well played. Good pick on the Mephisto. And now Echo, the next one, might be in trouble over here. He does have the Temporal Loop on her. Not going to be necessary. They take her down nonetheless. Wreck two follow-up. That's one, two, three, four. Quad kill. In favor of Wood League Express. Along with the objective. That is nuts. Wow. How momentum changes. My god. Yeah, those heels are clutch. Those are clutch, clutch heels coming in there. Alright, so everybody is back now. There comes out the charge, the stun. Whoa, nice taunt coming out right under the tower. Two quick kills, but it's one in favor of either team. Uh, Brightwing is down, Malfurion is down, so both the healers are down. Loki is really low. Diva just walks in there with the Diva bomb. Varian is under protect. Does he take damage? No, the time trap saves him, but same thing with Queen. Queen got saved because of that. Oh, this time Queen does not make it out. Blazes to follow to a triple kill. Coming out in favor of Team Momentum. But they did manage to lose their keep. That is their win condition that has opened up. So if you guys didn't know already, can you see these? There's, there's one shield missing over here under the core. Uh, every time a keep goes down, one of those shields goes down. So it's easier to kill the core. But so now what you want to do is, even though I said that the bosses don't matter... Uh, you could start, like, you know, posturing around here because, see, uh, Team Momentum, they think that they're here. Are they making their way here? No, they just want to clean lanes. But they've given away, like, they know. They see four people here. Now they probably see five. No, they probably didn't see the variant. Uh, but they kind of had an idea that they were going to come over here, so they make their rotation towards here and bait it out, but they're, oh, they're not baiting it out. Uh, they're here, guys. And I don't think it's going to be contested. There we go, the root comes out. Yeah, they just back off. You can just clear it, it's no problem. If this would have helped, if this would have helped them, I would be like, yeah, okay, it helps them, alleviate some of the pressure. Oh, what? 
Did they barely get it? Oh my god, the salvo comes out as well. Phoenix gets taken out right before the salvo. Good pickup from the Varian. The bunker comes down as Blaze, a full HP Blaze, just sits in it. Ice Queen taking a lot of damage. The Stasis pop as well. The toss back from the Varian to get him closer to the Chromie, but he just walked in the other direction. Blaze now might be in a bit of trouble over here. Yes, he is. He goes down. Two picks now in favor of uh, Team Momentum. And by that, I mean momentum coming on their side as well as they might be able to push this fort in. It's going to alleviate some of the pressure that's already built up here in the top lane. Garrosh looking at that Diva mech, maybe try to get that, but uh, jet propulsion's away. No, not jet propulsion's away. She just jets away. She just, she just runs away. But now, they can move straight here uh, to the objective. There are pinks coming out for the siege camp, but I wouldn't go that far. I would I would start the objective and probably have Vala somebody just clear this out over here. Uh, I'm a fist to clear the bottom lane. Yeah, because they can clear this and push this up while the two of them just channel this. Vala can come over here, throw some trap. Pew 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 pew. Stop them from taking it back. No, don't don't don't. There's four over here. There's three here. They know the two of uh, Varian and Mephisto are in the mid lanes, but. They are going to start taking their siege camps. I told you, man. Siege camps do so much damage. It's nuts. All right. Storm Talents are online for Wood League Express. We have gotten Burn Notice, Piercing Sands, Serenity, Ablative Armor, and we got Singularity Charge. And now those same talents, Storm Talents, are up for... The momentum we have death wish we have mimic we have acrobat we have intensive winds and we have vigilance wow the diva mech got burned so bad the taunt comes out the follow of of vengeance as well but the bunker right on top salvo in the back line too bavarian is pounding on to that phoenix Malfurion goes down. Vala the next to fall. There's the Emerald Winds to kind of clear everything out there. 4v4 so far. Oh no. Taunt Charge coming out on to the Phoenix. They're taking a lot of damage just to get that one Phoenix. But Phoenix like, oh, don't. Yeah, no. Phoenix walks away from that one. I almost choked trying to say Phoenix walked away from that one. That's why you heard me a little bit go in like that. <laughs> Oh, they're trying to be sneaky. They're trying to be sneaky, Blaze. No, Blaze, don't do it. Don't do it. You get stunned. You get... Oh, he charges away. If they had tossed him Polymorph and then Mephista... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be so bad for Blaze. Uh-oh. All right, both squads kind of just dancing around here. Dancing in my room. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Sun comes out. The root comes out onto the Vala. Vala taking a lot of damage into the back line over there. High ammo right beside him over there. Slows him down. There comes the Diva Bomb. But the Durance of Hate casting the Phoenix. The Phoenix the first to fall into this fight. Temporal Loop used on the Varian. But Varian managed to get away. Emerald Wind used to pop them off. Sleep and Slow coming out from the Malfur and on to the Brightwing. Good time trap. Stopping the Vala in its trap. Uh-oh. Diva might be in a bit of trouble here. There is no Diva Bomb. So the mech's going to fall here. Mephisto's already ready. Waiting over there. Blaze the next to go down. Three, two quick picks coming out in favor of Team Momentum, and this is going to allow them to go ahead and start the channel on to the objective. Vala getting caught, uh, Varian getting caught out there again, uh, but uh, Mephisto has to fall back because they need to clear this. Good job pulling them all the, oh, almost, almost, oh, they did lose the top keep. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. <sighs> All right, here we go. Here comes Chromie. Can Chromie stop them? 
I think you guys just give. I think you guys give and just defend it. It's easier to do that because they have a lot to clear. They have a lot of lanes to clear. Like these objectives aren't gonna start like they're gonna start all the way here. Don't worry about it. Vala already starting the boss. So now they know they're gonna go boss from here too. Okay. But so instead of responding to them, guys, look at your mid lane. Oh man. If you guys just pushed down mid, you'd force them off. Very invading over here. Taunt. He stops four of them. The root comes out. The sleeve. Phoenix doing a lot of damage in the back. The balloon kill comes in to save the very. And there's the temporal loop coming out as well. He goes back in time. The falling breaths. Glogi taking a lot of damage as well. But the major taunt coming out. Rain of Vengeance to follow up. Emerald Lind in the back line. Malfurion goes down. Garrosh goes down. Varian goes down. Objective does go in favor. I don't even know who the objective went in. Not the objective, but uh, the boss. What happened to the boss? Where did the boss go? Did the boss walk all the way down? No. Who got the boss? Did they kill the boss already? Did you guys see that chat? I'm confused. I'm like seriously confused. Where did the boss go? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. If you guys saw the boss, let me know. But uh yeah, it's, it is a very close game. It's a very close game. And I've talked about this a lot on my stream before, you know, as a caster and watching this from, like, God's eye. Um, teams need to know when they have the advantage and when to press their advantage and know when to close out games. Because, uh, like, the current advantage that Woodley Express has is the fact that they have structures, right? They got more structures than, uh, than Team Momentum. However... They're still currently at the same level. The Bosch got leashed. How did it leash? Maybe you're right. But they were fighting right here. I don't know how it got leashed though. That's nuts. Crazy. Because Vala was already hitting it. Oh, let's see. I'll, I'll complete my point right after this. Yeah, face check the bush. Fade, why? You never face check the push, especially. Whoa, what a bunker! They come out right at the end. They garage the first to fall in here. The back line taking so much damage. Temporal loop onto the variant. The variant goes down. What a move by High Amril. That's crazy. That bunker definitely saved his life there. That's it. I think this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Game number one will go to Wood League Express as long as they kind of push it right now like you don't need a camp man it's a 3v5 let's go there you go durance comes out <laughs> you go straight into the durance <laughs> oh just focus keep i mean just focus core this core is the core that it regenerates so just focus on it oh such good defense coming out from team momentum let's go you guys can do it half hp Nope, I think this is a good stun coming in on the back line from High Emerald over there. Emerald Wind used to push them back, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Malfurion does get picked off. Gavin to it! Yes, they can. GG's game number one going to Woodley Express. Well played. <laughs> homie, homie bunker, homie bunker is so good. Your <laughs> bunker is so good. That was, that was a nutty game. That was a nutty save there. I thought he went in because he face checked that bush. He didn't throw, uh, he didn't throw oil in there. He didn't light it up or anything. He didn't check it. He just walked in and got tossed back. How he managed to get the bunker? Like I bet he was spamming his R key like. Maybe he needs to change his keyboard now, but High Admiral, oh my god, that was nuts. That was nuts. But here you have it. These are the stats for game number one. Um, we see Chromie putting out 101k siege, uh, hero damage, 149k siege damage coming out from that diva. Uh, Chromie did have four kills, 11 assists, one death. Now, Chromie has been reported for that one death, letting her team down. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, 97k healing coming out from the Malfurion, and doing a great job to be on the winning side however if you see brightwing's numbers 141k 141k healing what what like brightwing had to work hard to keep her team alive that's crazy 
That's crazy. Vala dishing out 107k hero damage and 179k seize damage coming out from that Mephisto. Vala did go 7, 5, and 2. The only person to die once on their team was the Mephisto. Reported for that that 16 kills to 14 in favor of Wood League Express. Levels 23 to 23. About a 25 minute long game. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. But it did come down to that point where dead timers would matter. Would matter. Here are the talent tiers. If you would like to pick them, criticize them, you know, just make fun of them or do whatever you want to do. Here you are. This is what it is. You want to copy them? You can go ahead and do that as well. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Okay, what we're going to do now is I always forget to get a bottle of water before these streams. So I am going to take a short break. Uh, I'm going to go grab a bottle of water real quick. If you guys want one, go ahead and get yourself a bottle of water, tea, coffee, you know, pop, whatever, whatever you fancy, a beer, chugga chugga, right? And uh, and I'll see you guys back here in the fray for game number two in this best of three series in Division D West. See you guys in a minute. Well, talents are right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I did go and get my bottle of water, so I have it over here. Uh, chug, chug. Game number two is still not online yet. Mm. I'm still kind of waiting for them to figure out what they're trying to do, who's trying to go to first pick or not, but there are the uh, the score. is updated right over there on screen over here. And for those of you guys joining us a little bit uh, later, uh... Yeah, the bands uh, that we see here. Brax's old out band out. Infernal Shrines band out. Towers of Doom band out. Sky Temple band out. Game number one did go on all track pass, which was a nail biter. Um, Taco came in. It's okay, Red Team. You can still win this. <laughs> uh but okay finally finally i know what map number two is going to be it's it's, it's gonna be a good map that's for sure that is a for sure uh but boom there it is there it is amazing it's gonna be a great game uh thank you for coming in crush near with the rain party of 18 everybody go check out crush's stream i hope you had a good one there we go I hope you had a good one. I hope you had a good one. Uh, but yeah, we are here now in game number two in this Division D West matchup between Wood League Express taking on Team Momentum. Uh, game number two, we are going to Cursed Hollow. Let me just tell them that Caster is ready as well, so they're not waiting for me. Uh, game number one was a crazy nail biter. Crazy, crazy nail biter. Uh, but like I was explaining to everybody else as well, like you need to know when to close out the game. Uh, they almost made a comeback. They almost made a comeback. Um, team Momentum. They almost made a comeback. It was crazy the way they played that one. Uh, if they hadn't lost so many towers in the beginning, they uh, they probably would have come back. But that last save uh, as the blaze on High Admiral, that bunker that he dropped, that's what kind of saved everything. Otherwise, that Momentum would have gone so quickly uh, to the side of uh, Team Momentum, what they're known for. 
uh, we might have seen a different outcome. But it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Played that really, really well. Really, really well. All right. Enough about game number one. Let's go into game number two, Cursed Hollow. Another big three lane map, another big micro heavy map. Uh, but this time the micro is a little bit different compared to Alterac Pass. It's a little bit, you still got to fight for the objective, right? But this time you got to collect three tributes. You collect three tributes and you get one curse. That curse shuts down everything, like all of your forts, all of your towers, everything. Even your little minions, like go goo goo gaga and can't do anything about it so and you can just rip through them right so we're gonna see a lot of fighting come out over there uh, as I said that these teams don't like to fight they go on a rampage and they just tear stuff up love it just love it but the chromie band coming out that is the first band uh, chromie did a lot of damage in game number one to them and they do not want to deal with that little uh, dragon lady that's what yeah little dragon lady because she's like really old too right like little dragon lady like she was hitting them with sands everywhere <laughs> everywhere uh it's a good band coming out uh because she has tons and tons of stall potential as well on those tributes johanna another similar band coming out from game number one so i guess they don't want to deal with johanna at all i was just gonna say global's so important on this map uh but the haka the first global to get taken out and the haka was also banned in game number one so but i mean both maps are uh, global central maps like if you have characters like Brightwing, Dahaka, uh, Falstad, it, it, it can really turn the tides of the fights and you saw a lot of that saw a lot of that coming out in uh, game number one so yeah so yeah really good Hanzo the next band that is a targeted band so I'm gonna say that is towards uh Hoff Hoffy yeah I'm gonna say it's Hoffy that uh that they're banning that towards or maybe the Vala Maybe Slacks. Probably Slacks. I don't know. Either one of them. They're their DPS, right? So, either one of them. Uh, Mephisto did a great job in game number one as well, but unfortunately, it was not enough. So, we're going to see how they're going to respond to that. And Hoffy this time goes ahead and snags the Blaze as the first pick. He did play Mephisto. You guys better not be, like, changing up on me. Like, in the middle of it, just swapping names and stuff like that. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. All right, so we still have Brightwing on the table. We still have Falstad on the table. That's two uh, globals who are very, very important. All right, as I say that, Brightwing gets picked up and Ice Queen, who played the killer Chromie, is now on Li Ming. I believe Li Ming was banned out in game number one. So Ice went on, on Chromie. Did a great job there too. Uh, Serlet on the Malfurion was amazing. But uh, we'll see how <coughs> we'll see if he can match the Brightwing uh, that Echo played. Because Echo played a crazy good Brightwing last game, even though they lost. Ha! Ah, they banned the Celtics up the last time. Rekt is like, nope, not this time. I'm taking it right away. But I have a feeling like all of these guys are changing their roles, except for Gloki. Is he stuck to the tank? Because he played Garrosh in game number one. But the Wreck played the offlane variant. But I guess it matches his playstyle going into... Uh, they really don't like the Haka. <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> uh, will the Express take my energy? Are you? What kind of energy are you giving them? Like dark energy or like, you know, like... Uh, like the Hulk energy. Like, you know, smash them up. So, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. But final band coming out from the side of League Express, it is going to be Ana. That's going to be a, that's a good band actually. Uh, let's see, who uh, will give him to Express or is it going to be In Momentum? Now I'm not biased on anything. I would love to see Wood League Express win in a domination. All right, but at the same time, I would. Like, I really want Team Momentum to win this game, you know? Like, I want a game number three as, <laughs> as a caster. I love game number three, so um, don't hate me for it, all right? I just like content. I, I want them, because I know there, there are a lot of, like, Wood League fans over here. 
uh, that want them to win, but I, nah, I want to give them a three. Just, just saying. Just saying. Both teams are really great. Tychus is the final band coming out from the side of Team Momentum. We did have the pickups of Phoenix again. Cypher playing the Phoenix. And we got Sona. Uh, Sonia. Sona. Jeez. Chauncey playing the Sonia. Uh, Rainer and Decker to finish off that lineup with. Okay. Okay. I can see that. I can see that. But Vala was still available, but they opted not to go with Vala this time. And Slack switched to that Rainer and Echo. Uh, having to go with the Decker. I wonder if we see Lornados. <laughs> if we see Lornados, I will lose my, you know, you know what I mean. Um, but we got, oh, Hayek Merle is playing Anubarak? Did they change again? Who am I missing? Wait, what is going on? We didn't have a Blaze main tank. Chauncey was playing the team. Nice playing the off laner. Are they changing things here? No, right? All right, well, even if they are, it is what it is. But here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is a streamer discovered to enjoy content. Chill for five months. What? <laughs> well, here you have it. This is the line I'm going into game number two. We got a new Brack, Lee Ming, Brightwing, Sonya, Phoenix. Going up against Deckard, Blaze, Rainer, Kelsazot, and Mer. Then, all right, you guys know what time it is. Predictions are online. If you are here to support uh, Wood League Express, go ahead and drop your votes for them. If you are here to support Team Momentum, go ahead and drop your votes for them. But starting off on the left hand side in the red trunks, we got High Admiral on the wait. Why is it Avatar? That's the wrong one. That's not the right one. Uh, Ice Queen is on the Ming Sarah on the Bright Wing Chauncey on the on the Sonia, and we have. Uh, Cypher on the Phoenix. Uh, High Emerald is actually on the Nubarak. That is your squad in blue team. Uh, Wood League Express. We got Gookie on the right over here playing the Muradin. Slacks on the Rainer. Wrecked on the Keltazad. Echo on the Deckhard. And we have Huffy on the Blaze this time. That is your squad in red. Team Momentum. Yeah, kind of messed it up a little bit over there, but no, we got to go one going over here. So last time they did not fight. They just cleared the waves and then everybody went their separate ways. So we're going to see if that changes now. Loki wanted a bit of action. He stepped up over there as the Meriden. Stunned the Phoenix there. A little slap slap. Hello, hello. Uh, but we already see Rainer in the bottom lane. Phoenix making that rotation to match the Rainer. Uh, Sonya making her way to the top lane there. So nobody missing any soak, right? There's four here. Okay. One, two, three, four. There's three here. Globes. I think it should be easy, to, easy peasy to get it. Oh, the stacks on the KT. Oh, uh, the, the Keltasad. Okay. We have advanced targeting once again as a quest for the Phoenix. We have uh, Stormbolt. That's a normal one on the Murden and we have solid uh, scroll of identi identify on the Deckard and we have master of the cold dark four out of three for the kill to <laughs> but tank pog <laughs> no that was I don't know why I did it didn't do it maybe I messed up with line or something I did choose a Nubarak Maybe I didn't. I was in a rush. I apologize about that. But as we can tell, we can see this little thing over here. Objective is going to be in that top lane. You see Sonya already making that rotation onto their Siege Cam. Murden and Kael'thuzad now moving onwards to theirs. Uh, a little bit behind, but I believe Sonya will make that rotation down to that Bruiser Camp over here. Decker, the one staying in the mid lane. So normally you would see the tank staying over here and then the healer with the dps coming and cleaning this up but they did it a little differently which is okay as well uh maybe some soak might be missed here in the bottom lane maybe two globes because the rainer also went in to help maybe maybe the maybe he doesn't miss it he gets the three here oh it smacks the phoenix in the face like back off back off right now yo grab these oh he missed them never mind he missed them okay uh, yep, as I said, Sonia making her way onto the Bruiser camp. Objective is going to be up within the next 25 seconds. Uh, the three-man squad walking over to their Bruiser camp on the side of Team Momentum. Here we go. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Anubarak taking on 
the responsibility is off an offlaner as their offlaner is doing chores. Okay, so here's the deal now. A lot of teams, higher level teams, they don't tend to fight for the first one because this is such a uh, macro intensive game. Like they tend to get value in other lanes rather than fight. But I was going to say, we'll see what these guys decide to do. Uh, we see Rainer down in that bot lane, but this is going to turn into a 5v4 real fast. Meriden might want to be careful of it. The sun comes out as the burrow comes in, but then look at that turnaround stun from the blaze stopping their backline as well. There's the cleanse coming out as well. Rainer is really, really late. He's far behind. He's trotting slowly. I don't even know what mount he has. There's a little chicken. There's a little chicken. The chicken's not going to get you there in time. <laughs> And you run straight into this Sonia. But object number one has been claimed, or tribute number one has been claimed by Wood League Express. So Rainer did come late to that party. That and that's the benefit of globals right there. Like, like Brightwing kept the Rainer in the bottom lane. Um, and then immediately just was gone. And Rainer was like, oh crap, I got a chicken. I don't have like wings to fly over there as fast as I can. It's gonna take me a little while to get there. Yo, that's a lot of sulk. Rainer, make your way down here on your chicken. Get all of those. Come on. Oh man, that's that's a lot. That's unfortunate. Hey, if your coach is watching, like, don't go too hard, all right? Casually interrupting the Phoenix War. <laughs> what a chat. Uh, Anubarak making sure that he is in that but Whoa. That was a raw E thrown out. Missing over there. Nonetheless, they know his position now. They kind of backed off over there. Uh, this is tribute number two. Tribute number two. All right. The Burrow coming in because the other one is on cooldown there. Kelthos getting that combination coming out. The poly Polymorph coming out is not going to help. Sony coming in the back line. The first blood going over to Wood League Express. Sony might be in a bit of trouble over here. Bodied by three of the teammates of Team Momentum. Now M Murden is a target to be bashed upon. Is he going to make it out? What? No, no, he's not gonna make it out. But two quick kills in favor of Wood League Express, completely taking away momentum from Team Momentum. And yes, of course, why not? Why not? Two people down. Boss is for you. This is your gift. This is your gift. Uh, by the way, they also did get that tribute. So now the next one, they have got to fight. They have got to fight. Team momentum has to fight. Uh, we'll see how they deal with this because generally, once you get this boss, the next one you're going to right here. So you're adding pressure now to that bottom lane with the boss pushing in, and you're also adding pressure in the top lane. Blaze, the only one here. If they can pick off Blaze, because Blaze is just trotting on a little doggy. Oh, he turned around. He saw them. He saw them. Let's go. Oh no, Blaze. No. Oh no, the Polymorph, the stun, Hoffy in so much trouble. I don't know if he, I don't think he needed to go in. He, he did not need to go in. <laughs> That's it. That's their boss there. All right, the bottom boss is there. The objective is online. And now the three man has to beeline it here. Let's see how long Murden can stall. Oh, the stun went the other way. I don't think he's gonna stall. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna stall at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Heroic's online. Let me go over that real quickly before this next big fight. We got Cocoon. We got uh, Disintegrate. We got Blink Heal. We got Leap. We got Purification Salvo. Murden did go in. Stay a while and listen. Catching all four people. That comes out the clan. Purification Salvo coming out as well. Smashing everybody. Leap used defensively. Oh my god. That was crazy. Nobody died. What? Ow. Well, we got Avatar. We have Stay a While and Listen. We have Combustion. Combustion. We got Hyperion and we have Fissure, Shadow Fissure. I don't agree with Combustion, but I don't know. Hey, that's your playstyle, man. That is your playstyle. I am hoping Cypher goes meme cracker at 10. <laughs> he didn't do it. He didn't do it. 
No. KTC against New Brag. It's a hard, a hard knock mage life. Yeah. Oh, you can get you can get the bottom push key blend. You can see all of them top. Okay. Bruiser Camps is probably next on the list. Quest, quest completed. Eight minutes, 14 seconds in. Keltazoth has finally completed his quest. I do not know if that is great timing or not, but under 10 minutes? Pretty good, right? Pretty good? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, but Siege Camp, the next to be picked up by Sonya as well. So a lot of blue all over the map. We got the blue here. We got the blue here. Um, blue all over. A lot of siege. A lot of sieging. For team momentum to be done. They need to. They are managing to keep up in XP though. If you take a look at the current XP, thirty-five thousand to thirty-two thousand. So not too too far away. Just under a level, and they could probably catch up to that right now. I don't know if Murden wants to be stepping up that far ahead. Never playmaker Mura, no, never. I know it would be a lot of fun, but never. All right, simple blows being exchanged by them. It was globe quest. Should have been another mage. Instant damage than quest mage. Like, you mean the Keltazod? I think the Keltazod's pretty strong there. If they had... Pings are coming out. If they had, like, completed his quest early on, like, he'd be... He'd be bodying them right now. Like, he'd really be bodying them right now. Like, how, how much damage is he sitting on? Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's take a look and see. Keltazod is currently... He's not even the highest damage. He's only 5,000 hero damage. Like, Blaze is at 11,000. So, Kelzot, I don't know if he was the best pickup or not, but KT would have been great seeing how bunch of the. Yeah, that's what I mean. It would be nuts if he, he'd be really hitting them hard. Ooh, the barrel misses, but he does get a three man stun to follow. The leap comes out, but does not go over the wall. There we go. The combustion finally gets him. Mean, stay a while and listen. Coming out as well. Kelta's off the first to fall as Sonya just wrecks him in the back. Slack sticking a lot of damage as well. Trying to find his way out of this. Manages to pick up that Sonya. One for one. Kelta's off has come back. But the tribute's gone. Tribute has gone. Boss is up. They, they are going to make a play towards boss. <laughs> It's a 4v5. Now is the time to think about if you're... Oh, the stun misses on the Phoenix. That would have been so good. But Anubarak stepping up into them right away. Purification Salvo also popped right now. All right, so Wood League Express can wait. They don't have 15s. I mean, 16, sorry, they have 15s, but this is a good fight coming out over here. Uh, Cocoon onto that Blaze, so Blaze is out of this fight now. Decker taking a lot of damage. If they get 15s, this might be trouble. And Decker the first to get picked off by the sniping uh, Li Ming. Uh, Meriden to follow there in the back line. That objective now is going to be channeled. Where did it go? Oh, it's done. It's, it's in the top lane, but I mean, boss, sorry. Boss is going to be taken uh, by Wood League Express. This is a lot of pressure, my God. This is a lot of pressure. 16 to 14. Uh, all Team Momentum can do now is just try to catch up. Just playing catch up. Just playing catch Oh, are they being bold and going for a boss themselves? Baiting it? What are you doing, guys? Just clearing it? <laughs> Uh, boo, both teams. What? <laughs> Just say boo, momentum, or boo, WLE. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
I don't oh no Mer okay Meriden didn't face check him but you're down 16s uh, you, oh my god there comes a combustion in the back as well Hyperion popped as well Meriden jumping in the back still wild and this is coming out but Loki is the first to fall in that fight Phoenix to follow and then we have a nice stun coming out from Blaze, catching three people. A new to go down as well as that Hyperion kept dropping on top. Phoenix got picked up by the Keltazad. Two for one right now, and the chase is on. They're looking for the Brightwing. The Blaze stun misses, and that's all she wrote, Sally. A good, solid defense coming out from Team Momentum, and they are going to get their second tribute. So now you guys have momentum. Question is, what are you guys going to do with it? Are you guys going to go around and now take a boss by yourselves? You guys are kind of low. Nah, uh, they gotta clean up bottom. Eh, I mean, you lost this keep anyway. We can always just avoid KTZ and Zul'jin. So never pick KTZ, never pick Zul'jin, never pick Butcher. What? Why? Taco! Don't be coming and talking about picking Valera, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I know what Taka's trying to do. Taka's like, yeah, Willier is the best pick you can get. Trumps everybody. <laughs> you have to question it. Sixteen to eighteen. Now is the time to fight. If you guys would like to. Uh, they are giving up this objective. Okay, okay. You give up the objective because you can. You take the boss, so it's not in play uh, for Team Wood League Express to take. But I do think that they have an idea. This is going to be a big fight here, right over here. Here comes the pings. Anubrak, the first to walk in. There we go. The boss is so low. Anubrak the only one walking up on it. There comes the cocoon as well. Stay a while and listen. Kelto's not the first to fall in this fight. Dude, does the boss go to Merton? Goes it down. Rainer goes it down. Oh my god. Deckard goes down and Blaze goes down. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a five-man team wipe. And with that, I think I think we can call it. I think we can call it. Yep, they're they've moved on to the core even before the boss could walk up to them. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate that they could not get back the momentum. One good team fight that team momentum had, but that's just about it, ladies and gentlemen. GG's game number two, along with the series in this division, D West matchup goes to Wood League Express. Well played. Well played. That was very good. That was a very good game. Um, you know, like, Wood League Express came out swinging this game. They really came out swinging this game. Uh, Tribute Forces interactions, Mirror Blaze and Deckard guarantee a bunch of stacks for Zul'jin, then his, then his 10. If he took the better one, sets up so many plays. True? Agree? <laughs> agree but ggs ggs let's take a look at the stats for game number two uh we have lee ming putting out 44k hero damage four kills eight assists zero deaths well played well played bright wing uh not as much healing required as game number one uh but uh nonetheless 65k healing coming out from the bright wing zero kills 12 assists zero deaths uh 54k siege damage coming out from the side of phoenix blaze really trying his best 116k siege damage coming out from him a couple of missed jet propulsions here and there but none that would have changed the game or anything like that but uh 42k healing coming out from the deckard and 33k uh hero damage coming out from the rainer uh but the top team coming out this evening was wood league express 12 kills to three in favor of wood league express level 19 to 17 15 minute game quite fast quite fast uh here are the talent tiers if you'd like to pick them copy them you know question them anything that you would like to do you can definitely do it over here uh but gg to both squads over there what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to try to see if i can get somebody for an interview let's get somebody for an interview all right let's see uh it was it was a great game that both these squads played would have definitely definitely uh would have liked 
that game three to come out tonight, but it's all good. With this, I believe Wood League Express now moves into first position in Division D West. All right, I'm going to go sit in lobby number five and wait for whoever comes. And uh, then we're going to try to see if we can set up that interview screen and get somebody going to that. Whoa, never mind. <laughs> I already have High Admiral, uh, Admiral over here. Hello and welcome, sir. How are you doing this evening? Doing well. Top of the world today. Top of the How about world. yourself? I'm pretty good, man. I can't complain. You guys uh, made my evening really, really awesome. And uh, I enjoyed casting the game. You guys did super, super good work. Thanks, fam. Uh, so talk to me. How are you guys feeling after your 2-0 victory over uh, oh. Team Momentum? You know, we're feeling really good. Our... Uh, our... the what for today yeah uh, that team is is incredibly good and i'm really proud of my team for being able to to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with them well fair enough it looked that way too let's talk about it game number one we went to or rather you took us to what was it it was altrac pass what was the any particular reason for you to pick that map it's uh it's a map that we very much enjoy i don't know it feels like home it feels like home a lot would say that about inferno shrines but i get your sentiments i get your sentiments. Ah. it's it's a, <laughs> it's a crazy map it's a crazy map to play um yeah but the way you guys started you guys weren't very aggressive or anything like that um what was your game plan going into that uh into altrac pass well, we did some pretty hefty research on the enemy team beforehand, and um, we knew that they have a play style where they like to put two thick boys up front and their swishies in back and uh, go for, for early picks. And so we just um, played to counter that. And uh, and so we played safe and um, got the picks when we could get them and didn't did our absolute best not to overexpose ourselves. Fair enough, fair enough. And you guys actually did that really, really well. Really, really well with the composition you guys have. I thought you guys almost threw it at one point. I thought you guys almost threw it at one point because you guys had so much momentum on your side. Um, you had completely siege top, mid. It was all open, but you guys still chose to fall back. Like you beat them in a team fight as well, but then you guys chose to fall back, um, and then you guys took another fight. Now, you, at the end there, so I'm talking about the last fight, the last fight, all right? You mm -hmm. as Blaze... You face check a bush, all right? You get tossed into four of them. How hard yeah. were you hitting your bunker key, your R key? Oh, dude, I literally... Okay, if you can if you can hear my keyboard like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just slamming it as hard as I possibly could. Yeah, because you were gone, because you were gone. Like, oh my right. god, it was like the last thing, and you just sat in the bunker, you're like, please, God, save me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and your team did uh, such a good job there in the back line. They held down the garage, they got the garage, they got the variant, and then the, you came out and you guys managed to push in, and that's how you guys ended the game there. But man, oh man, if you were down there, if you got picked off, I think that would have been game for you guys, for them. They would have won the game there. They would have pushed in hard with that boss, and, and it would have been. It was, it was, I was like, oh no. Uh, and so that's, so that's why I want to ask, why didn't you, like, what were you thinking when you face checked that bush? Why didn't you throw oil or just fire or anything like that? What was going through your head? I done, I done goofed, honestly. <laughs> I, just, I just didn't didn't think to use my ability. I was just like, I'll roll my momentum in here and uh, pop them with an E if need be, and I'm holding bunker. I wasn't. I think I didn't really realize until the end of the game that uh, that they had enough of a stun chain to prevent me from going into that bunker until like literally the last second, like less than a hundred health. So. Uh... Uh, I got lucky. Got oh, lucky. man. But yeah, that would have been a turning point. But nonetheless, it went in you guys' favor. You guys noticed it. You took advantage. Push in core straight away uh, and get game number one. That's the GG's on that one. And then we go to game number two. Now, game number two that we played on is Curse Hollow. Curse Hollow, a very another macro heavy map as well, right? And uh, you guys start off easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you know, just clearing waves in mid, and then everybody goes into their own lanes. Uh, but then you guys, like, 
I didn't really see anybody, you know, making that many mistakes. Like the rotations were really good. Uh, but the only thing that I would say was at the the one fight after you guys took the boss, bottom boss, your own boss, and then you guys went top and you guys took their boss, you guys got the blades, you got their boss, and then you guys went to their bruiser camp, right? And you went to their bruiser camp. What happened there? You guys got the bruiser camp, but no one died. It was such a big fight, but no one died. Everybody just ran away. Yeah. Um. So that was right when the the curse was popping at the same time, right? Yeah. 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 So we figured we had we had momentum with the boss. We had momentum with the curse, and we all are holding enough health and mana that we could we could snag just just one more thing, you know, like if they're there and they're trying to get that to defend or something of that nature, there's an opportunity for a pick or there's an opportunity just for us to get that camp and ride additional momentum in. So um, and, that, you know, obviously they answered, but we did we did get the camp. And um, that was that was the reason that we played the comp that we played was so that in the event that they did that crazy, you know, steel blaze from us and, and uh, dive in engage heavy trying to go for our back line, uh, we could just, you know, shut them up for a second and leave. <laughs> uh, and so it worked. <laughs> oh, man. But I got you guys lucky there because De Murden just jumped in. He had Avatar. They just got their heroics. Uh, stay a while and listen was popped and all five of you guys were caught. All five of yeah. guys got caught. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, Kaltazad's gonna have a field day. And somehow you guys all got away. It was ridiculous. It was crazy. Yeah. But nonetheless, all you right. guys didn't let that stop you. You know, you guys just kept going one after the other, one after the other. Every camp was under your name. Every tower that you guys took, everything was just marked blue. Um, like, but then there was this one last fight over a tribute that you guys almost lost. Um, what happened over there? This was the second to last fight. Second to last fight. It's yeah. kind of a blur blur for me right now. I'm trying to remember what happened. Um we It was over the tribute too. Like they, you, right. guys, you guys could afford to give one tribute, but you guys opted to fight. Right. Um so I think that uh we were under the impression that if they had attempted a hard engage that we could just isolate out the blaze and take care of the rest of the players um and it would have been fine uh but they came from an angle that we weren't anticipating mm -hmm. and um so th that's that's on me for not scouting that properly but uh but yeah so we just we fell back did did the same recovery waited until we could we could set back up and then turned it back around yeah, and that was a good call at the end over there, because um, yeah. I know you guys noticed that uh, they were all missing from the uh, from the map. They allowed you guys to take the objective, um, so you guys beeline it for their uh, for their uh, boss, and that's where you guys took that final fight. It was a great fight. It was nuts, man. It was nuts. You were the first person in there just waiting, and then the entire team walked in. Like, you know, <laughs> generally is the tank that's supposed to be the one that's standing on the point, but I like right. it. Like, the whole team <laughs> walks in together. It was beautiful. Right. <laughs> and, and, and you guys were so lucky that you guys picked off Keltazad before that, and I was like, oh, my God, because you guys got a five-man sleep again. And I was like, no. Yeah. But, yeah, the Kalthazad picks were calculated, man. Like, yeah. I mean, it, it's very, it's very showing. Like, if you're gonna lock two tanks and a Kalthazad, like, what you're gonna be trying to do, right? Yeah. So if we just turn that on its head and pop behind the two people that are guarding him, then it, it it's a deletion, you know, win condition. So fair enough, fair enough. And yeah, you guys got the got the dubs there by by a five man team wipe, and you guys clean out. And get victory. Although I wanted a game number three, but nonetheless, you guys, you guys made game number two very, very fun, <laughs> very, very fun. Yes. Um, Bendy says that High, <laughs> High Admiral will never live down the bush face check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they. Uh, we had some people pop in between games and yell at me about it. So, uh, <laughs> oh, well, yeah. nonetheless, GGs, congratulations on your 2-0 victory this evening. This actually puts you guys into first place. How do you actually feel about that? Have you been paying attention to the standings, to anything in the division, or just been playing the games? I mean, we've we've been paying attention to the standings a little bit. I didn't realize that that accelerated us into first place, but that's uh. That's crazy. Oh, dang. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, we got to practice more. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because now, now you guys have a mark on your back, so you guys got to make sure that you guys are holding it down. Uh, yeah. A lot of good teams in Division D West. D West is the best. That's what we used to say when we were back in the 
an amazing, amazing division. But oh yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. No, oh sorry, I... go ahead. Oh, oh I was just gonna say yeah, we faced uh, Phoenix Rising Jade last week, and they were they were an incredibly good team. Um, mm -hmm. so very difficult to uh, to fight, and something to look out for for sure. Um. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Uh, well, thanks so much for joining me for the interview. I really do appreciate you stopping by. But before I do, bid you farewell, and uh, you know, wish you best of luck for the remainder of the season. Stage is yours. Go ahead. Any shout outs that you would like to make? Of course, of course. So we've we've been having a slightly rough go at it figuring out what to do as a team. Uh, since we have moved um, Novabot into a sub position, and he was our previous like primary shot caller. And so I just want to give MVP to and, and shout out Sarah Lath because he's really stepped into that role. Like we we went back and forth trying to figure out who could do it the best. And honestly, like Sarah Lath's game knowledge and his like ability to direct our momentum is is crucial and we would be nowhere without him. And this game was absolutely evidence of that. So um I love you, buddy, and absolutely you were the the star player today. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you so much once again, uh, uh, Admiral. I'm going to call you Admiral. Hi, Admiral. Sounds like too much. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Admiral, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me for this interview. I really do appreciate it. And once again, best of luck for the remainder of the season in GG's tonight. I hope you guys go back, watch the bot, and enjoy it with the team. And oh, uh, you know we will. Yeah, Over yeah. beer and pizza. <laughs> Over beer and pizza. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Well, thank yeah. you so much. And I will catch you later. All right. All right peace. Peace. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was High Admiral joining us for the interview. Unfortunately, I couldn't get his stats up there. For some reason, it didn't work. Uh, but, yeah, there you have it. It was his words. Uh, so, thank you, thank you, thank you. Great, great match coming out from them. Uh, moving them into first place, Division D, West A, Division 2, look out for. But this is going to be it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Just a quick shot, a couple of shout-outs going out there. Uh, Dark Knight with the follow, Shade, the, the Winsome Wolf, Hoss. We got Becky. Um, who else can it? Portos, I forgot you. No, I didn't forget you. I saw you, but I didn't forget you. Uh, Rocket coming in with the raid. Crushinator coming in with the raid. Appreciate you guys. Mimic as well. Chauncey, the creator as well. Thank you so much for following. Really do appreciate it. Uh, a unanimous MVP, Dark Knight? Nah. <laughs> Sarah Lath is the MVP. Sarah Lath is the MVP. Unanimous. Everybody thought it was Brightwing. Really good. I like it. I like it. That's amazing. GG's. GG's. But, um, yeah, so for me, catch me on tomorrow. Tomorrow's actually a great game in the Division B Northeast Phoenix uh, Rising. Oh, Regen Phoenix, not Phoenix Rising. Regen Phoenix taking on LTK Smoke. That's going to be another good game to watch. I will be having a new co-caster with me making his debut. First time with me, at least. Uh, it is going to be honestly joining me for that one. So look out for that. Uh, did I give everybody their points? 83% uh, thought that Team Momentum would make a comeback. Oh, gosh. And 17% uh, thought it would be Wood League. Here you go. It was Wood League that came out. Uh, perfect. Let's find somebody that we can raid to share the love. Who do you think we can go to? Uh, let's go to Zane Hyde. We're going to go stop by Zane Hyde's channel. Say hi. How you doing? We're coming in from Bankai's channel. Uh, and he is doing some, I believe he's doing some coaching right now or something. So that could be really, really helpful as well. But that's going to be it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you once again for joining me for this uh, evening of hots monday night hots uh division d west as a team uh team with the express took on team momentum coming out on top 2-0 and uh that's gonna be it so let's jump into zane hyde's channel give him all the love and support that you guys show me and thank you thank you thank you so much once again and i will catch you guys on the flip side peace